good evening students here we are going to study about the techniques of scientific management given by f w taylor according to f w taylor the first technique of scientific management is functional foremanship functional foremanship is a technique which aims to improve the quality of supervision at the shop floor level of a factory taylor identified a list of qualities of a good foreman since all the qualities could not be found in a single person taylor proposed eight specialist in this technique planning is separated from execution it is an extension of the principle of division of work and specialization taylor suggested four foremen for planning and four foremen for execution the four foremen for planning were route clerk instruction card clerk time and cost clerk and disciplinarian and four foremen for execution were gang boss speed boss repair boss and inspector under planning department there are four foremen first instruction card clerk who will draft instruction for workers second route clerk who will specify the route of production third time and cost clerk who will prepare time and cost sheet fourth disciplinarian who will ensure discipline among the employees under production department there are four foremen first speed boss who ensure timely and accurate completion of job second gang boss who keep machines and tools third repair boss who ensures proper working of machines and tools fourth inspector who will check the quality of work second technique of scientific management is standardization and simplification of work standardization means setting standards of every business activity it aims at eliminating unnecessary diversity of product it can be standardization of process raw materials working conditions etc it is not only related with quality of product but it is also related with size type weight of the product objectives of standardization of work first to reduce a given line or product to fixed type second to establish standards of excellence and quality of material third to establish standards of performance of men and women fourth to establish interchange ability of manufactured parts and products simplification of work aims at eliminating varieties sizes and dimensions of products it implies fuller utilization of equipment and increase turnover it results in saving of cost of labor machines and tools the objective of method study is to find out one best way of doing the work it helps to minimize the cost of production and maximize the quality and satisfaction of the customer method study includes all activities from procurement of raw material till the final product is delivered to the customer for example for designing a car the assembly line production would require deciding the sequence of operations place for men machines 
and raw materials etc all this is a part of method study it is a technique to study the movements like putting objects sitting and changing positions etc which are undertaken while doing a well defined job the movement could be productive and unproductive motion study seeks to eliminate unnecessary and wasteful movements so that it takes less time to complete a job effectively a person is bound to feel tired physically and mentally if he or she does not rest while walking the rest intervals will help one to regain stamina and work again with the same capacity this will result in increased productivity fatigue study seeks to determine the amount and frequency of rest intervals in completing a task it is a technique to determine the standard time taken by a worker for reasonable skill and efficiency to perform a well defined job the objective of time study is to determine the number of workers to be employed frame suitable incentive schemes and determine labor cost the standard time is fixed for the whole task by taking several readings and observations it is a technique which differentiates between efficient and less efficient workers on the basis of the difference between their actual performance and the standard performance it rewards the efficient workers and motivates the less efficient ones to improve their efficiency it means complete change in the attitude of workers and management towards one another the management must provide good working condition and the workers must perform their work in their greatest efficiency and effectiveness the management and worker must trust each other for better working it means complete change in the mindset of both management and workers towards one another in another word they must develop positive thinking and positive attitude for one another which will increase cooperation among them there are four principles of scientific management which are given by f w taylor the four principles of scientific management are first science not rule of thumb second harmony not discord third cooperation not individualism fourth development of every person to his or her greatest efficiency and prosperity taylor believed that there was only one best method to maximize efficiency this method can be developed through scientific study and analysis of each element of a job the method so developed should substitute rule of thumb or trial and error approach throughout the organization scientific method involve investigation of traditional methods through work study unifying the best practices and developing a standard method which would be followed throughout the organization the principle emphasizes that there should be complete harmony between the management 
and workers management should share gains of the company if any with the workers and workers should work hard and be willing to embrace change for the good of the company this requires mental revolution on the both of the part that is management and workers both management and the workers should transform their thinking mental revolution involves a change in the attitude of workers and management towards one another from competition to cooperation there should be complete cooperation between the management and the workers instead of individualism this principle is an extension of principle of harmony not discord competition should be replaced by cooperation according to taylor there should be an almost equal division of work and responsibility between workers and management the management should work almost side by side with the workers helping encouraging and smoothing the way for them for all important decisions taken by the management workers should be taken into confidence the management should be open to any constructive suggestions made by the employees and suitably reward them this principle is concerned with efficiency of employees which could be built in right from the process of employee selection the work assigned to employees should suit their capabilities they should be given the required training to increase their efficiency efficient employees would produce more and earn more this will ensure their greatest efficiency and prosperity for both the company and the work